Hello, everybody. I'm Bill Vance. You know, most folks that build a lake or buy a piece of property that has one on it, well, they want a body of water they can fish. But as we all know, to have good fishing, that lake needs to be managed just like most things do. To me, of all the things that must be considered, water quality is number one. Proper aeration plays a huge part in that for several reasons. It's necessary to have a healthier lake from top to bottom with an enriched environment and active fish. Most folks don't realize that many bodies of water, especially small waters, form a division between the colder, low oxygen water on the bottom and the warmer oxygen rich water on the surface, known as the thermocline. As water temperatures begin heating up, and usually by summer, the colder, low oxygen layer on the bottom can consist of 50% or more of the depth. Tell you what, look at this illustration. Imagine a pond or small lake that's 20 feet deep. The thermocline will usually form at about 10 feet. This means that the carrying capacity of the lake is reduced to 50%. In other words, every living thing in the lake that depends on dissolved oxygen, such as fish, zooplankton, and phytoplankton, now lives in the upper 50% of the water column. Why? Simply because below the thermocline, there's no dissolved oxygen. Because warm water holds less oxygen as the summer water temperatures increase, oxygen levels continue to decrease, and this is a critical time. Especially when you get several cloudy days and a cold rain. Because cold water is heavier than warm water, it hits the surface and falls through the warmer layers to below the thermocline, forcing the bottom water upwards. The result is an undesirable event that most fishermen realize as a fish kill caused by summer turnover. Three natural ways that small waters get oxygen are a flow through, a high volume of water running through the lake, wind diffusion, which provides minimal oxygen, and sunlight, which is the number one source. It creates photosynthesis through plant life, such as phytoplankton, and so on. When problems start to arise on ponds and small lakes, there's usually warning signs, and you should really watch out for these symptoms. Unsightly algae caused by runoff or high nutrient levels. Fish kills, as mentioned before, caused by stagnant water and poor circulation. Foul odors resulting from hydrogen sulfide and other gases caused by insufficient oxygen and lack of circulation. Poor water clarity caused by high nutrient levels. Muck accumulation. Without oxygen, dead plants and animal matter can't be quickly decomposed. Excessive mosquito and midge fly populations thrive in stagnant waters and low oxygen conditions. Now, is there an answer to these problems or a way to prevent them? You bet there is, and that's why I'm here. I want you to know about Vertex Bottom Aeration Systems, which create a vertical current using the rising force of millions of small bubbles to entrain the water column, circulating the entire lake and allowing oxygen to be absorbed at the lake surface. These great systems provide a beneficial and cost-effective method of improving both the water quality of your lake and its overall health. By moving the lower oxygen water up from the bottom and eliminating thermal stratification, oxygen levels throughout the water column are increased. Wide swings in oxygen are stabilized, preventing fish kills. Vertex systems also improve sport fisheries by allowing fish to expand their territory into formerly oxygen-deprived portions of the lake. A vertex aeration system consists of a small shore-mounted air compressor, one-third to two-thirds horsepower, feeding a configuration of self-cleaning flexible membrane diffusers. Positioned on the lake's bottom, each diffuser station produces millions of small micron-sized bubbles, creating a slow-moving current that entrains the entire water column, providing aeration through surface contact. In northern regions, aeration of ponds and lakes keeps ice from forming, which prevents winter fish kills. Designed to be both efficient and cost effective, these aeration systems can aerate up to 11 acre lakes with as little as two-third horsepower with very low monthly operation costs.
low maintenance, self-cleaning diffusers, and no potentially dangerous electricity in the water. Now let me tell you, I've dealt with some of the problems we've discussed here for a long, long time. When I first heard about Vertex and how well it works, I knew I had to have it. So professionals who have installed plenty of these came to my lake and put mine in according to exact specifications provided by the good folks at Vertex. Trust me, these units really work by breathing new life into my lakes and ponds. That's why I have no hesitation whatsoever in telling you that Vertex offers the perfect aeration system. 